I have moved kids into college before, and there is a lot of parents bringing clothes and whatnot up and down stairs. We pulled up, we were basically assaulted the car with, with high point students. What can we do? What can we grab? We had everything upstairs in 15 minutes, and I'm going, this is very different. We are getting totally spoiled and pampered. Just the, the family values, you know, and the culture. It's amazing. When you bring your child to college, you're taking the training wheels off and uh, Jody felt at home. It, it gave me a lot of confidence that she was in a good place. A lot of the values that High Point maintains and, and touts, as you can see walking around our campus, are a lot of the things that we teach our children. God was important, country was important, patriotism was important and is important. It's time we start celebrating that we live in America. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a God, family, and country school. God, family, country, uh, work, or schooling is always very important. We've taught our kids that. And as we saw a lot of different types of colleges, you know, they didn't really talk about that at all. And to be able to share that in a college campus today is, is rare. And that was very special as far as knowing that the environment that they're in and will be operating in uh, has those foundational uh, core values. We want our kids to be honest and to look someone in the eye and, and be able to be uh, helpful to society. There's a spirit on this campus, a spirit of really caring about people, a spirit of wanting to meet every single need that a student has, a spirit of taking care of the parents and the families and, and understanding uh, what the parents are going through, uh, a spirit of excellence. It was really about finding a place that felt like home. And as you place your kid in a university, when they're there, you worry. You pull up to drop them off for the first day and it says, welcome home. That was murderous to me and I was like, well, you're home. You know, the church is right on campus. That's huge. Looking at the artists and the artisans uh, up and down the walkway, the prominent figures. Who was Harriet Tubman or Rosa Parks or, or any of those other historical figures? And opening that curiosity, but curiosity that would lead them down the correct path. Our kids have learned how to serve through charities or through other organizations that they've been involved with or their internships that they've been involved with. My daughter, when she went for her first in internship, her professor actually went to the company she was at, spoke with her manager, um, kind of explained what they were looking for and how Ruby could fit into their picture and help them out. There was a time when Jody went to New York to do an internship and we weren't sure if it was going to happen because of her classes and whether she could get credit. And High Point said, we're going to make this work. This is an incredible opportunity for you. When I got the internship, it was crazy. I still can't believe it. I've been able to learn so many valuable skills that I use every day in New York and at 17 that I don't know if I could have gotten that at a different school where I didn't have such personal relationships where people really cared about my success. I loved where our other children have gone to school, but they're not getting these opportunities. Their advisors don't pick up the phone and call and say, here's a great opportunity, you need to be a part of it. You're literally the best and you helped me get here. When I came to Hype University, one of my primary goals, and thank God stellar faculty believed in this goal as well, was to create the academic side with strength and with wisdom, but to support it fully with the practicality of life. And the best way to teach that is to bring thought leaders here, CEOs here, founders of companies here who have done it. They've walked the path. We are invested. These students know us. I hear from them on a regular basis. They know I care about them. And they know they have access to the NBA and access to the world of sports. When you have that actual contact with somebody in the field that you are interested in and have accomplished something is, it's worth its weight in gold. I can't explain to anybody how important that is. This is all guiding them towards that higher goal in life is to be happy and successful.
the premier life skills university is so true because when Jody left here, she had the life skills. She understood how to apply herself, the, the life skill of seeing something out in front of you, making the decision to go for it, and then plotting your way to that point. The way they really just concentrate on the individual to make that individual the best person they can be four years from now is what I saw and was really attractive for me for High Point. Most parents, I think, are sad to see their child leaving their home. But for me, I felt like, hey, this is, this is promise. This is where they should be. There's not a doubt in my mind it's going to provide them the best opportunity. That's all you ever want for your, your child, is you want them to have the best opportunity for success. There are people here that are going to care for your child and look out for your child, yet at the same time allow your child to grow and mature and make those independent decisions. And if your child is blessed to come to High Point University, you ought to jump and run with it because it is a great place.